back to Sophia Does It, my channel. I want to thank anybody who's stopping by to see me. But don't forget to like. Um, it's so free. <laughs> but anyway, today I'm talking about phantom pain. Um, so it is a real thing for those of us with amputations. Um, and what made me want to think about this is because I don't have phantom pain often. Maybe every two or three months. But when I do have it, it's like so intense. Um, and it usually lasts about 24, about 24 hours. And the thing is, there's not really anything you can take that makes it any better. Like Tylenol, a leaf, none of that stuff helps. Um, so I was prescribed gabapentin um, for it, but I don't like the way that gabapentin makes me feel. So I don't take it. I usually try to thug the pain out. But there are a couple of things that I've found that helps a little bit. So. I found that moving, like walking around, just any type of movement um, on my uh, leg, anything, that helps. You wouldn't think so, but that movement really helps ease the pain. Um, imagining that my, you know, that my foot is there and I'm able to move it. I don't know if it's mentally helping or, but it, it helps. Because the thing is, with phantom pain, you feel it in a part of your limb that's no longer there. So like if my leg was hurting, I can reach down and rub it. So when I have pain in my foot that's no longer there, I can't reach and rub it. So it's like, how, how can I ease that pain and make myself feel better? So I have to do it in my mind, but the pain is actually real. Um, and so, and I was gonna show you guys, I showed this in a, a previous video. Um, I don't usually do this, but I just wanted to, so that you could see exactly what I was talking about. So, with my prosthetic, I have the, the suction. So this part of my, um, up here, the gel part, I pull it up to the gel part on my liner and it suctions it in place. There's nothing pulling this off. It's not gonna fall off when I'm walking. I've been on roller coaster rides, nothing pulls it because it's like steadfast on there. And I have to make sure there are no holes or anything in here so that it's airtight. So when I take it off, and excuse the tape up here, I lost some weight, so we had to put something up here to make it a little tighter, um, just so we didn't have to do a whole sleeve. But I have some, you know, a little bit of tape up here and some cushions on the inside um, that they placed on the inside for me. You can see that those cushions just to make it tighter on my limb, and so with that and then I have this is just a sock for my limb just to make it also tighter when I put it in here I like a snug fit so um this is just like a one five sock um this is specialty sock for prosthetics right and then I have this sleeve so with this sleeve you take it out that way and you have to make sure that this is you don't want an infection but here so I still have my knee most of my leg, my tattoo over here with my son's name on there. And there's nothing disgusting about it. <laughs> no sores or open nothing. Um, as my surgeon would say, beautiful. Um, so whenever they did the amputation, um, the skin flap, when they cut it, it's my bone right here, and they brought the skin back up this way and it healed across the front right here. And so, and he added extra cushiony little fat at the bottom of my leg so I, I ran into some people who were like I can't wear my prosthetic all day but I, I, I wear it all day no problem walk around I just walk constantly with no pain the only time I'm feeling pain is that phantom pain that happens to the, where my foot used to be so I still have that pain and so what I'll do is I'll, like I said I'll walk around or I'll imagine my foot there and moving my toes, you know, to move my toes and my foot to try to make it feel better. But that's about it. I just wanted, to, yeah, so it's just the bottom part. I have most of my leg, so, you know, I have two legs, one foot. But that, that's it. And every day, um, my usual routine after taking a shower is to keep my leg moisturized. So I use handy dandy a and d ointment so i have a big tub of it and i put that on to keep this moisturized and i usually have on uh what's called a sheet so it's really thin kind of like um 
nylon stockings and that because I sweat a lot and that keeps me from getting water blisters because um, you don't want any type of blisters or anything on your leg because it's so susceptible to getting an infection and, and, and that's what you don't want and so you just and then I just put this back on and I did it right I like to make sure that this seam is on the outside it's kind of off right now but it's close enough putting back on my sock and then putting on my prosthetic. Just making sure that my knee and everything fits snugly in there. And then pulling me up to have me all tight. Sometimes I leave it down a little bit like that. But I don't know, and then I'm ready to go. But the main thing I wanted to talk about today besides showing you that was showing you the residual pain and where it comes in at. So being blind, I know sighted people sometimes use the mirror method, mirror therapy. That's where they look in the mirror and imagine that their limb is there. And you know, imagine rubbing it or whatever to make it feel better, which I could, you know, in theory I could still do, but I just do it, just imagine it in my head and also trying to move it. Um, Cause even though my foot is not there, I still have those nerves and all of that stuff. So, but anyway, that was this one um, talking about that the phantom pain. So again, I'm asking for you to subscribe and like and share my video. If you have any comments, make sure you leave them. And until next week, I want to thank you all for watching again. Remember, the name of my channel is Sophia Does It, and I would appreciate your support. Thanks.